Friday. Jamal Williams is a 17-year-old freshman from Fontana, California, but he's already made a name for himself in the BYU football program. Williams rushed for 744 yards and 11 touchdowns during this regular season and making the most of an early season opportunity when Michael Elisa went out with a broken arm. We welcome Jamal to True Blue and say hi to his mother watching in Fontana. Welcome. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. All right. One year ago, you're still playing high school football in California and you're 16 years old. Now fast forward to today and tonight and sitting in that chair. Can you believe what's happened to you? No, not really. It's mostly a dream right now, but I'm so happy to be here and I'm just thank God for every, every day he gives me. What's the best part of this dream that you're living? Playing college football and mostly just having a, like a group, a lot of fans. I like really, I really like fans and the big stadium and all the college teams that I dreamed of going to and playing all these years has finally come true. So I'm just enjoying, just enjoying the moment. You're getting the football more and more. On Saturday at New Mexico State, the Aggies were ready for you, and the whole <laughs> ground game uh, really struggled. But as you look over the body of your work this season and getting those first few carries after Elisa goes down with the injury, do you have any idea what, what was out in front of you? No, I didn't. I really didn't. Um, I'm just happy that people are really recognizing what I can do on the field. So um, I really take it into gratitude that New Mexico State really did put in eight people in the box to just to try to stop the running game. And and I'm glad that they did. So we give opportunities to like Cody Hoffman and them to show what they can do and get five touchdowns in the game. We're looking at some of your numbers here. You now hold the school record for most yards by a true freshman. And uh, if you get a touchdown against the Aztecs in the bowl game, you'll break Ronnie Jenkins' record for most rushing touchdowns as a freshman. That's not a bad start. No, no. no. Put a little pressure on me to get a touchdown now. Yeah, there is a little like a bit. Beetle. What does your mother think of your freshman season? She had a lot to do with you coming here in the first place. Yeah, she, she loves it, really. She goes to every game, and I'm just happy to have a, a good mom like she is. She's a real team player, and she's... Uh, original sports mom because no matter if it's high school or college she's she's gonna go to every college game and I'm just happy to have her and I, I really love her. Were you uh, nervous coming into such a big university so young? Uh, a little bit yeah, yeah. but um, listening to my mom and my family they just told me to come in and just stay focused on your goals and everything will go as planned. All right so you'll turn 18 in April. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so you'll get a vote the next time around if there's a, a presidential election. But what happened early in your, you skipped the second grade, right? Yeah. You just, just didn't want to do it? Just thought you'd just hop right over into third grade or what? Oh, I was just good at saying my alphabets and knowing <laughs> my numbers and stuff, so they just passed me. And, and has that been a good thing athletically? Or as you look back and think if you're a senior in high school this year, maybe you set the national rushing record? Um, I think everything happens for a reason. I'm glad I did skip because I'm mature than what I would be if I was still in high school right now. And I think it just makes me a better player um, in general because not a lot of 17-year-olds can just come into college playing Division One football and just come in and start playing at a high level. So I believe that I'm doing a, a good job and I feel like I'm just going to get better as um, I keep on playing. I don't mean to jinx you heading into the bowl game, but you've not fumbled the ball one time this season. That might be a national record. Is there just something about the ball just stays in your hands? Um, that's one of my pet peeves. I really don't like fumbling. So if I don't do nothing right, I'm going to hold the ball right and learn to like just keep it in my arms because I take real pride into holding on the ball and knowing that I can secure it mostly every time I give the ball. Question from the fans uh, and uh, is from Dunbun who asks, how does one become the swag daddy? And you'll have to explain your Twitter and Instagram handle on that one. Well, um, it just popped in my mind one of these days. <laughs> I was like, I really didn't have a Twitter until like my senior year. So I really thought about it. So I was like, what's one of my characteristics that really persuades me? And I just thought I have a lot of swag and I'm not old yet, but I still consider myself like a little daddy, so uh, I just came up with the name Jay Swag Daddy, and just so happened to be available, so I took it. Swag Daddy, it is. This program goes all around the world, um, and uh, for for you and your experience coming into BYU as a member of another faith uh, and and getting a chance to to perform 
on the football field and go to class. Uh, what would you say to somebody else who's thinking about BYU and coming here to play football and, and, uh, and maybe they don't, they haven't grown up in a, in a Mormon culture per se. Uh, what would you say to them about giving BYU a chance? Um, I'll just say just stay humble and just stay true to yourself and um, don't think if it's out of the ordinary that it's going to be bad. Um, I'm not used to it, but I like it here because of the, the fan base and the football wise. I may not be Mormon, but the people here are very nice. They they treat you with respect every time you walk on the campus, and you just gotta you just gotta just take it all in because you can't always stay in your bubble all the time. You have to come out of it so you experience the world a little bit. Well, it's a pleasure having you here at BYU. Oh, thank you. Outstanding freshman season. Good luck in the bowl game, and we'll see you for three more years to come. Oh, thank you. All right, Jamal Williams.